In the hushed silence of a dimly lit hospital room, an elderly woman named Margaret lies, seemingly frail, yet with a glint of determination in her eyes. Time to escape this confounded place, she whispers, as she disconnects the web of wires attached to her, dons a hospital gown, and slips unnoticed into the bustling city outside. Her destination? An address she discovered in a mysterious letter. The location is an old warehouse, and inside, a trio of teenage boys are huddled around computers. An unexpected sight, indeed. Margaret confronts them, demanding an explanation. The boys, Sam, Jason and Mike, reveal a virtual reality headset, the source of her predicament. They have trapped her within a game of their own creation, but Margaret isn't one to back down. She decides to play along, navigating through various challenges and puzzles within the virtual world, surprising the boys with her resilience and intelligence. She's not just a character in their game, she's a formidable player, Meanwhile, the boys, realizing they've woefully underestimated her, abandon their warehouse hideout in a panic. But Margaret isn't finished. She conjures a flamethrower within the game, setting fire to the boys' virtual game shop. The boys return to their warehouse, horrified to see their beloved game world in flames. Margaret finally removes the virtual reality headset, leaving the boys with a stern warning and a lesson they won't soon forget. Never underestimate the elderly. As the dust settles and the echoes of her words linger, the video ends. The story of Margaret, the elderly woman who triumphed over her virtual captors, serves as a reminder to all. Respect transcends age, and the consequences of underestimating others can be severe. The rebellion of an elderly woman in a virtual world, a tale of resilience and cunning, a lesson of respect and retribution. This is the story of virtual rebellion.